Well, June has been the month of the loon here on Lakeland News. Each weeknight throughout June, we've been featuring one loon picture, several loon pictures some nights during our 10 p.m. newscast. Our photos are from award-winning photographer Steve Monum. Steve has also been providing loon facts and or tips for each day's photos. And tonight we have our final photos. As the newborns grow during the summer months, they go from being called chicks to juveniles. This juvenile shows off its new colored leg bands. Now, not much is known about the life of juvenile loons. Scientists do know that they migrate by themselves in late fall after their parents have already left. They will remain in southern waters for the first two and a half years of their lives before making the return journey north. The satellite transmitter in this juvenile will provide valuable data for the researchers. Now, if you want to learn more about the project, Kevin Kino will be giving a presentation on July 10th at 7.30 p.m. in Itasca State Park's Visitor Center. Our thanks to Steve Monum for providing the photos for, all, for us all month long. And you can now vote for your favorite loon photo that has been featured here on Lakeland News during the month of a loon. You can vote until 8 p.m. on our Facebook page and our website, and then we'll feature that winning photo at 10 that night. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.